Howdy y'all, how's it going? This is the Butcher Man with some Farming Simulator 15 on Sandy Bay. Um, i just kind of been working around the farm today, doing a bit of this and a bit of that, you know, some whatnots. And, uh, oh, let's see. I did all the straw. I'll do it real quick, show you. I bought 500. 500 beef and 500 pigs. Which is a lot of hitting the enter button. Right there's like a thousand times hitting that button. And we now have a hundred cows. I think we did have 75 and that's just kind of slowly going up. Because the price difference is just insane. This right here, man, they, they were taking an awful lot of everything though. The fact there's 500 of them. I mean, I just put straw in there. We got 25,000, 27,000. Uh, I still got to do all the rest of it. Um, so that's probably what we're going to be doing. Just kind of running back and forth, doing a bit of this and a little bit of that, and kind of getting them filled up on stuff. I think we'll do the water. We'll probably just do all the fattening stuff. Uh, I need to bring... Probably just leave that there. Uh, what if our big trailer? We got a big trailer. I don't think it'll hold mixed ration though. It don't look like it, because I think that's chaff. That's uh, silage. Yeah, it won't hold mixed ration. We may just have to run this a bit at a time. I don't know how much of this they'll take. I don't know. May we might need to start like put our own put a mixing station up there and start taking bales and stuff up there as well, uh, which is what we'll probably do. Is this like twenty one thousand? I bet this won't give much at all. I bet they'll still have they'll still need a lot. There's some harvesting that to you know, still yet to do. I think field number eight up there at the top is ready. It's got canola on it, but um, I also bought a couple of fields yesterday. I bought um, down there near the farm, across the road from the cows, if you look, I bought 33 and 34. 33 is really small. It took me like maybe five minutes to harvest it or whatever with our big, big combine. And the other one I planted in wheat. I think 34 is planted in wheat now. All of our trees down there are gone. All the forestry has been done. And it's been replanted. So, the farm's just been kind of moving along. I've been doing an awful lot of work off camera on this thing. I'm thinking with me doing all the work on the farm like I am, this farm's going to come along pretty fast, I think. You know. Uh, there's no gauge to tell. I guess you can kind of look in the trough and see how much they need, but I don't know how much they'll actually take. It looks like they're taking quite a bit. I guess we could do one more trailer of this. Uh, just do a trailer to the pigs. We need to test out a trailer. Um... Gonna get this guy here moved a bit. Yeah, we might we not we might test out a modded uh, semi trailer here in a minute to see if as 
still not filling up. There it goes. Alright, let's see. Um, I guess we could just run over here really quick and fill this thing up with wheat and whatnot. We got a semi trailer over here, but I don't think we have a semi. I think all the big trucks are down at the farm. So we could just probably make a couple of trips with this thing. We need some grain. Wheat should work. I usually always try to use wheat because it's... I think it's the cheapest, I believe. Actually, it's not. Barley's the cheapest. What am I thinking? Let's stop that. We'll just fill this thing with barley because we got a lot of barley anyway. thing I checked I'd probably get a comment about that well you should have looked man you'd have seen that barley was the cheapest so we'll just go ahead and fill it with barley we got lots of barley anyway 363,000 liters of barley just back over this guy real quick this is some really quick multitasking I'm glad these I'm glad I got these tractors corresponding with each other I'm not like cutting the video or nothing like that. I'm actually just skipping from one tractor to another. Uh, we'll start him on this. And then. Uh, well, that's actually where the grain dumps right there. I'm going to move him around a little bit. Kind of like that. that one um, I think there's like a ball cock or gauge or whatever but I don't know we'll see I think the only thing we'll be lacking is let's see it's total mixed ration so given that it's all the way down at the farm I would like to have a bigger trailer we're doing total mixed ration I think Yeah, there's like a gauge see what one trailer does hopefully that'll fill it up uh, it's almost full we'll call that good I don't want to bring a whole trailer over here just to dump a little bit out in it so we'll get one more trailer and dump it in the pigs over there and then we'll start doing potatoes or no, I think, I don't know how many potatoes we have. I don't think we have that many potatoes. Because we haven't got a potato, potato harvest. Uh, so we're probably going to need to do sugar beets. Just luckily we got a, uh, oh, there's a semi. He is completely empty again. That's okay. That should be all we need from him, I think. I think I left that JCB loader on. I've been doing lots and lots of straw out here. I actually did all my straw shopping with this trailer, this mixing trailer in here. Because I think I put, um, let's see, seven bales in each one. Which seems kind of crazy, but, you know. I did have all this stuff in that first shed there, but as you can see, it's full. Alright, now. Stop over here quick and shut this JCB off. After we get him worked around. Yeah, see, I did have a whole full load of bales up here, but they're all gone now. I 
got this, uh, I just got this manual ignition mod, and, uh, it's, I think, I think it'll do pretty good. Um, it might be a little bit of a pain, like, it's, it's a little pain getting used to at the moment, but, we'll just store him right there for now. Shut him off. Because I keep forgetting to shut my tractors off. But the reason I got it really is to do forestry. Man, this thing don't want to turn worth of nothing. This trailer don't let you turn very tight at all. I suppose that's realistic though. But I got it to do forestry, because it makes forestry a lot easier, at least the chipping part. Because basically what I'll do is I have the tractor, or the truck, hooked onto the chipper. Um, where am I at? See, now I'm lost. There we go. We got the truck hooked on the chipper, my big chipper trailer mod. And uh, what I'll do is I leave it the engine run like you know since I got the main ignition the engine stays running, and then I just turn the chipper on and I use the loader to just kind of drop the logs in there, and it just chips them all up. Uh, the only issue I've had is that sometimes you try to put too many in at the same time, like four or five logs or whatever treetops, then it like you know it basically throws that truck up in the air like flips it up in the air and there's just you know nothing you can do about it we are gonna have to bring the manure trailer over here at some point but I'll probably end up doing that off camera but that's kinda boring cause I'll have to bring the loader as well cause I don't have a loader up here yet and I, I don't have money to buy a loader at the moment I don't think cause it's yeah, $195,000 for a new loader uh, that's mostly full. Now we need some kind of root crop. I think it's going to be sugar beet because we don't actually have. Uh, yeah, see, we don't even have enough potatoes, so it's going to have to be sugar beets. Yeah, I didn't know if I needed. I didn't know if I should record this or not, but you know. I hate doing so much work on this map and not, you know, not showing you guys. You know, I'd like to show you everything, but, you know, there's a lot to do. I mean, I, I do an awful lot on this map so far. At least I have. You know, I've, I've spent, like, I spent all, I think, all Sunday last week doing this map, which I think that's what I'm doing. I'm probably going to end up doing today. But I might end up playing, playing Seven Days to Die with some of my friends, but... <sighs> Which I've thought about recording some Seven Days to Die videos, but... I think if I did that, I'd end up doing them, like, single player. Um, but I don't know who would watch that, so... If you would watch a Seven Days to Die single player video, let me know. Because if you'd watch it, I'll, you know, I'll start a series on it. I'll just do my own little single player series or whatever. And I'll just do like one video a week or something about it. Uh, I don't know the game that well yet, so it would be, you know, it'd definitely be a learning experience for me and probably a frustrating experience for anybody out there that actually knows the game. Because I'm sure I would do like crazy stuff that, you know, people's like, oh, I don't do that, you know, you can't do it like that. Is this going to fill them up? Tell you what, you get 500 animals in these little sheds, and it just, it's a doozy. And it took the whole thing, but it looks fairly full. We'll do one more, one whole trailer, and put it into the, uh, into the pigs, I suppose. I know this a lot, like sitting here and dumping 21,000 liters of, you know, uh, sugar beets into the animals. You know, you could sell this and it would be a pretty decent amount of money. Because, I mean, sugar beets right now are going for, I guess it wouldn't be that much, but 
if you combine the sugar beets with the barley with the you know the water and all that stuff I mean it, it's gonna be a lot of money I mean, you're dumping a lot of money into these into these animals I know the cows though are looking pretty good uh, we could probably go sell some milk too because I got like two trailer loads of milk that need to go out it looks like uh, having a hundred cows I mean the, the numbers just you know the milk just goes up super fast I don't know that I think once we get start getting up in numbers even more it'll be like a little bit a little bit of trouble trying to keep up with it because the milk tank milk tank only holds 18,000 liters which is not too bad but the fact that the dairy is all the way at the top of the map you know I mean it's crazy far Yeah, I don't think there'll be a lot of cutting in this video. Um, obviously, you guys already know. I'll probably I'll end up cutting out that part driving all the way up here with this trailer and total mixed ration or whatever. But uh, driving is about the only thing I think I'm going to be cutting out for the most part. I think we'll end up driving this tractor back to the farm, though. The Sandy Bay. Because we can only leave a few tractors up here at a time. I think there's already... this is a, I think there's three up here right now, so we do need to take this one back. Um, I actually have another hot tractor over there. The New Holland's sitting over there in that other field. Waiting. Cut that van off. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and fill this up, fill this trailer back up with mixed ration from the mixer, and then we'll grab maybe the pickup truck. But we'll grab the pickup truck and uh, hook it onto the milk trailer, and because it should be faster running it all the way up there. All right, let's see. How much this thing got in it? Um, quite a bit. Let me shut that off and jump the fence. Now I did buy a uh, pickup, another pickup. It's actually one I like quite a bit. In the bumper, uh, one of my one of the best things is the bumper hitch. Actually, it sits a little higher off the ground than that one over there. So it helps. That one over there is nice, but the bumper sits so high off the ground, or sits so low to the ground, it's kind of hard to get it to do anything. This one's a little bit higher, but the problem with this one is it can't hardly ever, you know, hold a lot of weight. I don't know if this will even work. It's, I can't remember if this trailer has PTO or not. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Alright. Yeah, we'll see how this thing holds the weight as it gets full. Because we had over 36,000 in here. We had like 40, I think. So there should be about two loads at least. Gotta see if the truck suspension kicks in. This is a cool looking truck, you know, but like I said, normally when you get a little bit of weight on the back, it's just terrible. This thing can't hardly steer at all, but hopefully this trailer will actually hold it. You know, the trailer will actually carry most of the weight for me. We'll kind of see. I do think going through this gate down here will be a little bit faster. We got like a little beacon on top up there, a little flashing light, so that people know we're coming with a heavy load. I don't know that we need that, but I guess we could probably use that like whenever, uh, oh, like if we're hauling, like pulling a flatbed trailer with like a, you know, uh, like the 
the potato planter or something like that on it. Something wide that might stick off the edge. I think it's pulling this thing pretty well. I think the trailer is actually carrying a lot of the weight though, is what it is. Because it has two axles and the most of the trailer sits on the, the axles. So we should be able to make these trips pretty quick. Just need to pass this guy. Some of these city people around here drive really slow. Blinker work? I don't know. You know, that was like a super fast trip. And honestly, I don't think I'm even going to cut that part because normally with a tractor it takes absolutely forever to get up here. Uh, but, you know, with this pickup it seems like that was pretty quick. And the question is, is can we back it in here? So that he can take this. So he can buy this milk from us. Let's see, we got 50, about 55. We'll say 55. All right, Henry, take our milk, man. Blue jacket dairy. It is cool how this mod always has a hose that comes out, so that it actually looks legit. Would we have 55? I think 55 thousand dollars. I believe that's what I said. This is a pretty nice looking truck though. The only thing is is it still says FS13, 2013 on the back of it. So it's kind of, you know, uh, let's see, almost 30,000, about 30,000. thing don't turn the same once you get it back in here. There we go. That's order to work. Alright, let's head back to the farm and get another load. Making pretty good money with this milk, man. I mean, this is... That was 30 grand there, I think. About 30 grand. So, one trailer load of milk is $30,000. It looks like we're going to be getting about two to three trailer loads a day, probably. If not more. It's kind of like in the evening and whatnot. This is probably what we'll try to do, you know, if we're doing it on a video or whatever. We'll try to do this about every night before we quit, before we shut the farm down. It's almost seven o'clock. Uh, we'll probably shut the. I'll probably fast forward time at about eight or so. Any passing? I don't see anybody coming. Yeah, this truck being able to do fifty makes it a lot faster. I don't get hit by one of these crazy drivers. As long as they don't try to take my trailer off, we'll be fine. What do you guys think about these videos? I know I do streaming uh, pretty regular, about every day. Um, but I figured, you know, there's probably a crowd out there. There's probably people that don't want to, you know, watch the stream or they can't make it to the stream or. And they don't want to sit down and try to watch an archive that's like two hours long or three hours long or whatever. Uh, you know, maybe they don't have that much time. Maybe they want to see a 30 minute video, you know, of us working around the farm or whatnot. So, you guys just need to let, you know, just let me know what you think. Uh, I think for the most part, we'll probably just keep doing this. Uh, we'll probably just keep doing this. 
Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could turn around and look. You're going to walk through my truck, aren't you? Hello. How's it going? Now she's walking on the hood of the truck. At least part of the truck had collision for her. She just, like, walked right over it, but, you know. All the little Bessies running around. I think what I'd like to do is figure out, I might test it, see if it works, but see if this trailer right here will hold mixed ration. I know it might, may not make a lot of sense, but um, if it will hold mixed ration, then we can just use it to transport. Alright, let's head back out. Uh, I think I need to give the cows water too, because I don't think I did that, but I'll probably do that later. Oh, nobody coming. You know, I figured this kind of just be like, a, hey, you know, this is what's going on. This is kind of what I've been working on. Um, I don't know how much people want to see. Um... You know, I've really got too many comments about don't do this off camera or don't do that off camera. You know, this is a big farm. You know, I think if I did everything on camera, it would it would take us forever to get any, anywhere on this farm. You know, like Donnie Gall, you know, that farm, you know, it's actually progressing pretty well. Um, I did a little bit, of, I've done a little bit off camera here and there, but nothing like I've been doing on this, on this map. So... You guys just have to let me know what you think. Uh, if I'm doing too much off camera, then let me know. And uh, I'll try to do a little bit more recording, but really, I mean, doing a stream almost every day, like streaming six days a week, uh, doesn't leave a lot of time or even like energy to do videos like this. You know, what I might do, I guess what I could try to do is just record a 30 minute video on Sunday. And, uh, you know, of whatever I'm doing. Maybe even if it's seven days to die, I could always record a, a 30 minute video of seven days to die. You know, or I could do tutorials. I did a tutorial yesterday. Um, a guy was wanting to know about um, pigs and beef on Donnie Gall. There we go. This should put it. This will put us over a hundred grand here, I think. Oh. The farm is progressing pretty well. We're not keeping a lot of money, but I have paid down the loan down to two hundred thousand, and I think it was like six hundred thousand or something like that's what we owed. Uh, but now we're you know we're back. We're down to two hundred thousand now. So I've been I've been paying it off a hundred thousand dollars at a time, and the bank bank guy seems pretty happy about it. Uh, loan interest though is kind of it's going down. I mean, yesterday they charged us sixteen thousand dollars for loan interest. You know, but I think yesterday is we owed a lot of money. I think I've paid like two hundred thousand dollars off since yesterday. interest today should only be like eight grand or something like that um, what I could do is pay another hundred thousand dollars off of it and then if we need that money um, you know if we need that money back we can always borrow it back um, tomorrow and then hopefully make it before we fast forward time again uh, I think I have discovered though that um, if I use the mod fast forward I, I have uh, the cows do not produce any milk but if I just put it 120 times you know speed they produce all the milk they're supposed to during that time but if I just like push the button like push control and R and like fast forward time really quick 
man, it doesn't help at all because it just messes everything up. You know, the cows don't produce milk, and you know, I'm sure the fattening animals don't fatten. And I would say Tuesday, I think it is, we're going to be on this map for the stream. We'll probably be selling animals. Probably do a harvest and sell some animals and whatnot. Uh, we'll take a couple loads of fattening animals in. Almost missed my turn. It's normally where I always put this. I'll just back it back in here next to the milk tank. Needs to be in there pretty well though. That way it's out of the way. Better than that. Because like right there, from the way I'm looking now to the right of it is where I drive in to dump all the stuff. Straw and feed and whatnot. kind of store this over here next to the shed. It should be fine. Oop, I shut it off. Alright folks, that's going to be it for today. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like button. If you disliked it, dislike button. Comment down below. Why did you dislike it? Um, I hope you liked it, but you know, if you loved it and you want to know what I'm streaming, when I upload videos, hit the subscribe button and, you know, build the community. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. And this is a Butcher Man saying have a nice afternoon or good evening.